Hello, Karis here. Today I'm going to talk to you about spirulina. Spirulina is an algae and there are a few different ones you can get. It comes in a powder form or in a pill form, but I prefer it in a powder form because the pills really stay in your teeth and it's hard to get them out. Um, this is the spirulina I'm using right now and I actually just finished using this jar of spirulina which is, I have not turn it, there we go. You can get it at Whole Foods or any natural food supply store that you know of. I got it from the co-op in Santa Monica, which I would highly recommend if you live close and can get there. Um, but you can also get it online if you want. The thing about spirulina is it's really rich in proteins. It's a complete protein. It has all the essential fatty acids, and it's really high in B vitamins. So it's definitely a good thing to add to your diet if you just want more superfoods in your life, which can't be bad, and if you're a vegetarian or a vegan or a raw foodist, it's nice to get some of that protein in as much as you can. All right, the thing about spirulina is it does not taste that amazing. I will say, I read a blog about this, and I'll say it again, it's not that great, but you can doctor it, and so I'm showing you this. Take a spoonful of spirulina, a teaspoon is good. You can eye it, it doesn't have to be perfect. Glass, I use jars. I know that's weird, but that's what I do. Put spirulina in first before you put in anything else. Thin honey, I got my honey from the co-op in Santa Monica. It's raw honey, I would highly recommend raw honey. And just put a healthy heaping spoonful of honey in on top of the dry spirulina. Go. Now, add just a little bit of water. Just a little. And create a paste with the honey and the spirulina. The reason that you're doing this is if you put spirulina powder and honey into a full glass of water, it'll take forever to dissolve, it'll be clumpy, it'll taste weird, and the honey won't ever dissolve. It'll just be at the bottom of your glass. Anyway, spirulina has been known for its crazy nutritional benefits in Mesoamerica and Africa for hundreds of years, but we're just getting around to it now in the U.S. as far as I know. I only heard of it pretty recently, but it's pretty easy to get. All right, once you've got a paste, I don't know if you can really see that, but it's a paste. That's me. Pour in the rest of your water. Just fill it up. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can eyeball it. It's okay. And once it's full, give another little stir. Now, spirulina absorption is enhanced if you have it with a citrus. So, get a lemon or a lime. I'm using a lime because that's what was in my fridge. Roll it to break up the little packets of juice in there. And then slice it in half. I would recommend using a ceramic knife. Ceramic knives stay sharper for much longer. And they don't oxidize your food. And then just squeeze. Squeeze the lime juice in. Like so. Try not to splash yourself in the face like I'm doing with exploding lime juice. All right. And that's that. It should taste sweet. It'll smell weird if you've never had spirulina before. It smells like the ocean. might freak you out. Don't let it. It doesn't taste like it smells, especially once you put the honey in. So enjoy. Have a glass a day. You will see the benefits in your energy, in your complexion, or maybe even in your weight. If you're trying to lose weight and you sub this in for some other places you get protein, like a hamburger or not. It's up to you. Anyway, hope this helped. If you have any questions, just let me know and have a great day.